So the heat of the moment or the question of the decade is Java or .NET. Which one is better and which one should you go for and uh, which has a better future, well, better career and which is about to diminish soon. So in today's video, I'll be answering and clearing out all the different doubts that are there related to both Java and .NET and I will also be telling you, you know, which is better for your future. So if this video is something that interests you, do watch the video to the end because a lot of interesting facts is coming right ahead of you. In our channel, we aim to bring a greater understanding of the software sector and the different ways in which you can grow in the software sector. If this is a topic that you are interested in, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you do not miss another video. Without further ado, let's get started. So first, what is Java and .NET? Here only people are confused. For the final time, I would like to clear this concept that Java is a programming language. It is a language in which the programs are written. .NET, on the other hand, is not a language but a framework. There are different languages which are used to write a program in the .NET framework. Some of the languages are C Sharp or C Hash as you may call it and uh, ASP.NET, VB.NET and a lot more. So these are the different languages that are used in the .NET framework whereas Java is a complete, is, is a programming language. So I hope you understand the difference now and I hope it is clear. And previously a lot of things were being done using C Sharp. So you know if you take all the legacy softwares they are majorly written in the C Sharp language and if you are using some modern day technology, some modern day language, then generally it is written using the Java language. Definite. But nowhere is it that any of them are going to be obsolete. Now, these legacy apps or these legacy softwares are not going anywhere. So the demand for C Sharp or ultimately the demand for .NET will still be relevant now and in the future. Same goes with Java. Java also will be uh, continuously is being used and will be used in the near future. Of course, there are other programming languages that are now coming into picture and some of and one of the very common ones is Python. Python is gaining popularity and being used in a lot of different fields. However, that does not mean that Java or .NET will lose their uh, market or will lose their relevance in the near future. What if you are in the Java domain? What do you need to learn? So if you are someone who has become or aims to become a Java developer, then there are a few things that you should be knowing. The first one is J2EE, that is Java Enterprise Edition. Okay, so you need to be knowing what J2EE means and how it functions. Of course, the syntax and everything is Java, but you need to understand how Java language is used in this framework. And there are other things such as JSPs, JSF, so you need to know all of it. So Java has a lot of things. Uh, it, it is a programming language, but there are a lot of things that are related to Java. And if you are someone who wants to become a Java developer, then you must be aware of these things. You should be knowing how they function and what are the impacts if there are any. If you are someone who wants to learn .NET, then you should learn C Sharp. Definitely. I mean, that is one thing that you cannot avoid if you want to continue or grow in uh, as a .NET developer. Apart from C Sharp, you should also be having the database knowledge that is, you know, uh, SQL Server and other things. Now, if you see the vacancies, then there are vacancies for both Java developer and .NET developer. So you do not have to worry about that. That is one thing that you need to be carefree about that, you know, nowhere is the relevance or anything or the market is going somewhere else. There is still a high demand for skilled and good, well experienced Java developers. And there is still a high demand for well experienced .NET developers. So if you are either of them or if you are planning to become either of them, you are on the right track. The next question that generally freshers have this question is which one is easy? Well, it is not actually uh, really easy. These both have some complex issues, but even then, people have found that C Sharp is easier as compared to Java because Java actually has a lot of packages and a lot of things that has uh, that are there in Java. So when you get into Java, you will deep dive into it. You'll come to know that there are so many things within it. Uh, compared to that, C Sharp becomes, uh, you know, a smaller language and C Sharp becomes easier to learn. People who have been acquainted to Java might also say that Java is easier to learn. But uh, when it comes to the comparison, then generally C Sharp is considered to be easier to learn. Now, the last thing that I would add from my end is that 
uh, I would not suggest you uh, just because you have have known and you are an expert of one language or one technology, you just hate the other technology. Okay, so you're like, no, no, I know this, so I cannot learn that. Uh, be open towards learning either of the languages, whichever may be, and such that eventually your growth in your future comes easy. So that's all that I have for you in today's video. If you like today's session, do hit the like button. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Put down in the comment section the other different things between Java and .NET that I might have missed. And I'll meet you again tomorrow. Till then, stay tuned to Career Q. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.